Hey guys, it's Kaz here, and today I'm doing something quite different. So, Timu is what I think it's pronounced as. This is a brand that has been around a very short amount of time, but they're a thing. So, several years ago, Wish was a thing. I never ever ordered anything from Wish. It was a whole meme about it being terrible, about there being no decent quality control about if you get scammed you don't get your money back all that jazz didn't ever buy anything Timu has only been going a couple of years but it seems to have a pretty good reputation and you know I saw an advert for it I thought I'd have a little click on it and I ended up buying some stuff and I thought I would open it here with you guys and see what I think of it whether it seems worth it and yeah just just have a have a bit of a different video so I haven't opened it yet, I'm not going to bore you with me actually trying to slice this open because there's a whole lot of salivate, but I'll be back with you in a second when this is undone. We are open, so I've got up everything on my computer so I can tell you what prices and stuff was, things were. Obviously I did have a look into this website first, read reviews and stuff because I am that type of guy, and most of the negative reviews were just about it taking ages, and like for me i'm like if i'm getting the product i don't really mind if it's going to take ages if i know to predict that it's going to take ages but i ordered this on the 28th and it's now well the 28th of may and it's now the 4th of june so it took seven days which i can't complain about so let's just dive straight in i have a box and it probably has stuff in it oh yeah i know who this guy is so this is a very random thing it's like an alien from the film alien film but he's also a snail i just thought it's really funny i got this for my dad i'm just gonna give it to him but this was four pound 48 so i'm happy with that it's made of metal it's colored in it looks really silly and fun and that's why i wanted to get it so yes one for one happy with my purchase next up i have a bento box and this one was 4.99 let me just get into it it opens like this and you have a spoon, a fork, but they're also chopsticks, which is kind of cool. This bit I know goes in here so you can have like two separate things. And then it has another space and then it has a bit that you can keep wet bits in because it's got a top on it and another space. And I quite like it. I think it's nice. Sometimes you want to have a bunch of different things to take with you. It's quite compact in the size, like height wise. So yeah pretty decent i think this is a decent purchase 4.99 i think it's a good price so yes another win what do i got now oh i have a oh yes this is just an, an ink palette for stamps which will become abundantly clear when i pull some other stuff out in here this is only one pound 52 so I think that's a decent price. I was looking on Amazon for these sort of things as well and it was more expensive. So this is just a black black colour. Uh, let me just get something to touch against it. See if it's actually inky because that's kind of the whole point. There we go, I've just ripped a bit of paper. Inky. Right, this is so random. I saw this and I was just like, you know what, that's kind of cool. I can get it out. So this, you put batteries in it and you can reseal plastic bags you know like if you got a bag of sweets or a bag of crisps or something and you don't want to eat them all and then it has this little metal bit on here i think they get warm i'm guessing and then you across it and it heats it up so i'm intrigued about using this um i don't know how you get the batteries in in this section but yeah maybe i'll do a clip put it in here i don't know so this is open intrigued this was just really cheap let me just have a look i can't remember how much it was at one pound 27 so i was like you know what i'm gonna give that a go because it looks random but also potentially very helpful one of those things you don't know you need but you think why not when it's one pound 27 here we go i have some bao hong artist watercolor paper wow the shine on this is really bad but this is um, cotton watercolour paper. It was only 11.24, which is really good for 100% cotton watercolour paper. And 
I've seen people say that this is a really good brand. I've never used it myself, but for it being that cheap, I thought, hey, let's get some. So it is in a block as well, which means that it's glued on all sides so it doesn't warp when you're using it. Wow, that is not in focus. I've moved the bag out of the way because it just was not focusing when it was this high. But yes, here is my paper and it's in a block, which means it's glued on all edges. So when you put loads of water on it for watercolour, it doesn't buckle the paper. And then it just has a little a little bit up here and you put something in it and go shweet, 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 shweet and take it off. So yes. That is going to be very interesting and fun to have a go with. Next up, I have some stickers. So let me just open these up because, not going to lie, I got quite a few stickers because they're crazy cheap. Uh, so these are all book based and they're really cute. I think all of them are different as well. So there's loads of different ones, stacks, cute things, animals. Look at that. And yeah, I just got these for my journal just because... I think they look really nice and they're really hard to come by on Amazon. I've looked before and I looked for ages and I couldn't find any that were specifically for books. And then the ones that I could find were just extremely expensive, like eight quid for a pack of something like this. Whereas these ones were, let me just have a quick look. Um, I believe these are the ones that were 68p for 50, which is insane. So obviously this is a decent price. For a decent product here are some more i went a bit crazy with the stickers because they were so crazy cheap so if those were the 68p ones then these were the 58p ones but yeah just just stickers these are a bit more shiny these have like a glossy shiny finish whereas the other ones are matte so they're a bit different but yeah just over 50 and 60p for these i am very happy with my purchase and then there's also one more, so let's just really quickly go through these. These are even glossier than the other ones, so it's like I've got some matte ones, I've got some slightly glossy ones, and then I've got some really glossy ones that this camera does not want to focus on. So yeah, I don't even know if you can see that because the camera's whapping in about, but there we go. Next up, I've pulled out two things because these kind of go together. So I got a little cat pin and a camera pin. Cats and camera, you get it? It's, you get it? This one was 49p and this one was 53p. They're metal pins, so obviously can't complain about that price. And four of my cats are black, so I just thought this one was really cute. And then a little camera. Again, happy with my purchase. So I have these three things and then I have one big thing at the end as well. Again, I'm going to just get all these out because they're all pretty similar things. Actually, I don't think I need to get it out of the packet as long as the shine doesn't shine too much. So I got these three. Hopefully these don't glare too much. But I have this first set of stamps. As you can see, there are some book related ones, a few little ink wells at the bottom. This one was £1, 1p, which again is a great price for something like this. These are also just for my journal. I just thought it would be nice to have them about. Sometimes I just want to put something on like this and it'll be a lot easier than having to draw them out. Next one in a similar vein, but it feels more piratey. So there's a few little scraps of scrolls and stuff. There's an open book. There's some quills and this is like a coffee stain, some splatters and a seal. Again, one pound, one p. And last but not least, this one is more of like a border type things just in fun ways so it looks like a photograph or a note post-it note or some papers and again one pound one p can't complain and then last but not least we have the big box this was half of the price of my order so i'm really hoping this is good but yeah this was 31 pound 48p it's something that i've been looking at similar things for a long time but they're really expensive which you can tell because this is 31 48 and i thought it was a good price uh and unfortunately very unfortunately in fact this is the only thing that is not good i'm actually quite annoyed about this but the good thing about Timu hopefully fingers crossed we'll see because I'm going to get in contact with them 
is that I think if stuff's advertised wrong or if stuff's not sent to you right that they will give you your money back but this is meant to be one of those DIY nook kit things which are really fun and I want to do. Um, it's meant to be, you're meant to have all the pieces and then you make it yourself but this has already been glued together and it doesn't actually have any of the pieces in so I will include, I will insert a picture or two of what this is meant to be. Not happy with this which I'm really annoyed about but everything else I'm happy with and I won't upload this video until I've got in contact with the company or maybe the seller because yeah fingers crossed this is a decent thing that they're gonna sort out for me because this is not the one which is really unfortunate because I purposefully waited until the end to do this bit because this bit was my most excited thing because I've been wanting to do one of these book nook things for ages so yes I'm gonna leave it here and then at the end of this video I'll be putting in another clip about what happens and whether I get my money back or get sent the proper stuff or yeah we will see fingers crossed Hello, it is me from the future. So, I have more things to unbox. In fact, I got two more orders. This is actually the third one. The second one was late, but as soon as it missed the date, £5 instantly into the Timu account thing. Because if your order is late, they just give you a fiver straight away. So that's cool. I didn't even have to like query it or anything. As soon as they saw it wasn't delivered, boom, have a fiver. And it is expected to be delivered in two days time so I will add that on here as well because why not so before I get into this one I will obviously talk about the elephant in the room the horrible box thing that I got through so as soon as I finished recording the first part of this I boxed it back up I went on the website I said I wanted a refund to return it because it was false advertising and it was terrible easy printed off the thing sent it back and then like a few days later I got my money back so yeah it's actually really simple to get returns to get your money back there wasn't any faffing about it was free as well to return it it says the first return of your order is free and then it costs money afterwards but like if you know you're going to return something from your order like more than one thing just put them together and then it's still free so yes very happy about that I'm not gonna discredit Timu at all because of one terrible seller because like realistically on every website, every app, every thing, there's always dodgy people about trying to sell you a bad thing. So it's not really the site's fault but how the site deals with it and they dealt with it by giving my money back straight away. So thumbs up. Now let's get into this next order. Also apologies, I'm definitely sounding bunged up because I am at the moment so sorry about that. But yeah, let's just hop into this. This one is like a bunch of random things. I remember I've got it up on my computer that's why this is here so I can quickly scroll through and tell you how much everything costs as well so yes let's just dive straight in also in the second order which is the one that's on its way I got another like I don't think it's a proper it's not a book nook but I got another similar thing like one of them DIY things so it'll be interesting to see if that one is good hopefully hopefully I don't get duped twice different seller different actual thing to build so yeah fingers crossed for that one you'll see that soon because i will put it on this video but anyway let's let, let's start waffling and get some stuff out shall we oh yeah the big one first so as you can see i will open them better i got some shoes basically i need some new work shoes because mine have like holes in the bottom so whenever it's raining my feet are just instantly wet it's not good and these ones look comfortable uh, they're actually still toe capped as well and they were only £15.78 so if they're good fingers crossed then that's a good price for these they look all right the the bottom's pretty decent I don't like them they're made well so yeah if they fit obviously that's the main thing but I think that's a really good price for these obviously I'm not going to get my feet out on camera that's kind of cool. So I've come with this inside it to keep the shape as well, which is pretty decent. 
Oh, okay. So I've just put one on. I put it on my fat foot as well because everyone's got a foot bigger than the other foot. Like you've got a boob bigger than your other boob. That's just a thing, isn't it? I've put it on my fat foot and it's feeling comfortable. The bottom is like quite padded. I don't know if you can see in here. Oh yeah, you can. Got like padding in here, which is very nice. So yeah, obviously a bit different just putting it on right now and walking about in it for eight hours. We shall see, but for like 15 quid, can't go wrong. Let's move on. Next thing we have, oh, it's knocked the tripod. Is something long and thin. What is it? I don't know. I'll find out when I open it. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. So this is some canvas prints. And I thought these looked really nice because if you don't know, I'm like, sort of a little bit obsessed with like polar travel i really like nautical themed stuff and i saw these they were 3.99 for two i just had a look and they're on canvas and we have that's nice i've got this in the middle to keep it nice and fresh so we have this one and you have this one and i think they're really cool and they'll look really nice if i put them in a frame I have one of them frames that clip on the top and bottom because it's canvas, could do that, or like a proper frame. But yeah, I am happy with them, I think the print quality is decent, I like them, they go together nicely. It's another win, just something random, you know, this website, you can just find such random stuff in here that you didn't know existed and didn't know you needed, but then you see it and you do know it exists and then you do need it, so then you buy it. Next up, let's pull something out, um, oh yeah. I'm not just gonna like get this out properly. Obviously I'll show you a bit, but it's just a bra. Just uh, I don't wear underwired bras because like ain't nobody got time for stabbing yourself. So I just wear these sort of things. And I thought I might as well give it a try, see if it's decent quality. How much was it? Let's have a look. 2 99 So obviously I can't tell you right now if that's good or not. Oh, it's quite breathable at the side, which is quite nice probably be good for these sort of months when it's flipping boiling hot but yeah it seems like the same sort of quality as the other sort of bras that I've got in this way so the like the pad feels decent got some stretch on it so yeah 2.99 let me get my stabber out again this is just so random it's like you, you get a bit of everything you get some art supplies you get some house stuff you get stuff you wear it's just it's such a fun time just looking through the website and finding stuff. Which is exactly how they get you, make you buy money. Buy money? Spend money. So, next up we have, oh, it's not the best, it's got a crack on the lid. But, I'm not too mad about it. You can just keep the lid off. But, it's not even in focus. It's these little gems. So, it's got the gems and it's got the names of them. And basically, I really like... The, the aesthetic of like um, curiosity cabinets and stuff like that and you'll see some other stuff in here that I've got for that sort of reasoning but I thought this could be really cute if I make sort of like like a little tiny me curiosity box rather than cabinet this one's got stickers in but I got loads of these old um, what are they called cigar boxes off eBay I got like 10 or 12 for about 4 quid once just because I thought boxes are cool and now I have no idea what to do with any of them. So I thought it might be cute to like make one into a little curiosity cabinet and put some different things in and stuff. And that's why I got this little tiny one. It was only £1.68 this was. Let me just focus on it again. £1.68. I think that's quite cute. And yeah, I like that. It's going to be some sort of little creative thing I can do and like figure out what else to put in there and stuff. So yeah, I like that. Like I said, there is a little bit of a scratch down the front cover, which I'm not too mad about because I'm probably not going to like keep it on there. But that could have happened in transit, that's fine. And like I said, it's £1.68 for this, so I'm not going to moan about that. Next up, I have something in a squishy box. Oh yeah, so I'll get this out, but it's actually not for me. It's just... Uh, oh, I've left the lid in there. But it's a nose and hair trimmer. Um, I got this for my brother because basically we was, I don't know how we got onto the conversation but it was on about, um, you know like when you're watching YouTube videos and loads of people are sponsored by Manscaped and he was like, oh yeah, I probably should get one of those for my nose. So when I saw it on here, it was £1.79, so if it works, absolute bargain. I thought, why not, less than two quid, getting that, see if it works. 
and it's got the, the literature in there and there's a little tiny brush as well to keep it clean it's a bit crunched up but that's because it's been in this box hasn't it now so i don't mind about that so hopefully that works for him and it's going to be a lot cheaper than bloody manscaped if it does next thing another little packet this is fun because there's so many just little random things in here oh yes yeah, so this is some gems so this is what is it let me look on my thing um rainbow fluorite raw crystal rough stones one pound 34 for two ounces so it says two to three pieces per bag so it's about the, the weight rather than the amount get out i got these because i want to make a curiosity cabinet and i just think it'd be really cute to have these i was also looking at like fossils and stuff because that's another really big thing for curiosity cabinets but they were quite expensive for like two centimetre fossils which are going to be tiny and not going to be good maybe it'll be good in the little box when I was talking about but not in like a proper cabinet but yeah these are just like some nice rocks that I can put in there I like rocks what can I say and uh, £1.34 yep that's fine for me so with these ones I actually have a cabinet I bought it from a second hand shop it was £5 so I couldn't say no because I just love and I just love things that you can put things in and on, like cabinets and shelves and stuff. And I bought it and I literally have no reason. You know what it's got in at the moment? All them boxes I bought. So I thought I could make like a proper cabinet out of it. And it's just like, again, it's a fun project. So next thing in here, this might be the other sort of thing that's similar. Yes. I won't get this out of the package and I don't need to. So this one was £1.98. These ones are actually like chak chakra, chakra, however you say that. Chakra crystals, you know, like the healing ones. I don't know anything about that business. I just thought this was fun because they're all different colours and stuff. To put in a cabinet of curiosities. So that's why I got them. Less than two quid for seven. So, yeah. I'm sorry if my voice sounds even worse now because I just had a little bit of a coughing fit, but I'm back. Oh yes, next up we have some white pens. I can't even find the opening for this. So these three are all different sizes. You could buy them individually or the pack was £2.48 for one of each. So it's, it has this nib, we have a chunky nib, and we have a smaller nib. And yeah, it's always good to have white pens. You can do highlights, you can write on dark things. It's just good to have and now I have three different sizes let me grab some paper and I can just test them out super super quick I just grabbed some black paper because it's the easiest one to uh, practice on so let me get you a bit closer this is the medium one really nice actually really white we have the biggest one and finally the thin one I quite like this long nib bit as well because you can see what you're doing then a bit more precise but yeah, all in all, good pens. It's always good to find good white pens, and I've found some good white pens. There's more things, guys. There's more things, so let's dive in again. So this is a sheet of, like, polary papers. You like for journals and stuff. So are they all different? So we have this one. We have, like, map-type things. That one's kind of cool. It's got a boat on it. It says Antarctic Exploration. This is just going to be really fun to use in my journal and stuff. I can just have like a whole month theme. This is just based on polar travel. Got ones here that you can cut out and have individually. Big ones. And then just some more like this. I'm going to get through these quickly. Um, are they the same or different? Can't tell. But yeah, I've just got these papers just for like journaling and stuff. Loads of words there. And what was this? Let me just have a quick look. These were £1.98. So I do think maybe these were a little bit overpriced compared to other stuff. Um, it's not the best quality. I'm definitely going to use them. I still like them, but just in terms of all the things that we've got. Like I got loads of stickers and stuff for cheaper than this last time. But I do like them. I'm definitely going to use them. I like polar stuff. It's going to it's gonna work. It's going to happen. Don't worry. Next up, we are coming to the end of this section. Don't worry, guys. We're nearly there. Oh, I did get some more stickers. So these ones are a bit more expensive. But I just really like them. 
because you don't get many in here you only get like three little sections but I th again I thought I could do a whole theme for my journal I'm going to grab the black paper in fact because it shows you these on black paper so it was easy to see them on the listing so they are just these oh my light I'm trying to get the light not blasting on it let me just they're just these really nice jellyfish and I love the aesthetic of a jellyfish and again I think I can just do a whole theme in my journal of jellyfish and you just use these all up so that's why I got them and these were 89p so they weren't actually that expensive but I thought they were just because of how many stickers I got earlier on in this video from my other pack but yes I like them I'm going to use them all so it is an 89p well spent so next up we have this this is a book holder opener -er. let me just grab the book I'm currently reading boom the do's and donuts of love by Adiba Jagadar I only started it very recently I'm only one chapter in but basically you use this so when you got your one finger in you can hold the page down and it stays open and this was £1.28 so I'm definitely going to get use out of this next up I got more stickers guys I don't know what I'm going to do with all these stickers all the book ones from the first section these now but they're just so nice I love these so I couldn't say no these ones were £1.48 for 50 and uh, let me get a little bit closer here they're just so cute so it's all just like jars and stuff in and I just think they are absolutely the nicest stickers ever stop focusing on the dragon focus on the new ones uh, yeah I just think they're so nice the aesthetic is just yes thank you again I'm definitely going to be getting use out of these these can go in all sorts of different things in my journal and stuff and yeah they're just absolutely stunning I couldn't say no so I didn't and I got them and then this is the last thing in this one but fear not there will be a third part in this video coming in two days for me but right after for you and this is just this tiny little palette so this one was £2.48 and basically if I focus on it it's just a really little palette you fill these up with your paints and you can take it with you and it takes up no space whatsoever so that is the second part of this video I do have a third one coming up do you know what why not just throw in another little cat clip here and then we'll do the third part after that we're having a fun time today there's stuff everywhere see you in a second hello lovely we're finally on the last package it came today so i'm just gonna drag everything out and let's see what happens there's a big old box here which i think is probably the Yes, this looks a lot more promising than that terrible fake one that we got earlier. It's heavy, it's clearly a thing, and it's got all bits. Let me just take the packaging off. So here we go. It's called Detective Famous Agency, but I thought it looks really cool because it's got like books and stuff and like work and stuff out because it's a detective. So I thought it looks really cool. It's a DIY. It actually feels like there's bits in here as well. Woohoo! Yes, there's actually bits. Look, there's electrical for lighting. There's some little tools. And there's some stuff. And bits. And things. And stuff. Look at all them little books I'm going to be making. So, yes, glad, happy, thankful that this one is actually the real deal. And this one was, I think it was like £30, just over £30.99, which is still quite expensive, especially for Timu, but it's cheaper than getting the same sort of thing on other websites. So that's a win for me. Yay. Next up, we have this long one. Ah, so this, I believe, is more paper. This is a long paper. It's all shiny again. I'm sorry. But I just thought this was a really fun size. 
um, how much was it? It was £13.16 and 100% cotton for watercolour and I will slice this as well because it's too shiny. So here we go, that's a little bit better and again it's a block so it's glued on all edges and you take this top sheet off, that's not a paper, take that one off and yeah, looking forward to giving it a go and doing some fun long pictures. A t-shirt, so I just always wear grey, blue, black, dark blue. I'm trying to branch out, I'm trying to venture out and become a colourful person. This t-shirt was only £5.84 and I thought it looked quite nice. Um, I won't get it out fully. It's also got a little smiley face on and I got some shorts recently that also have a smiley face on so I feel like it can go with them. But yeah, I like it. It's Hopefully I'll, I'll try it on soon but it's quite a stretchy fabric material as well so hopefully it's comfortable. But yes, happy with that. In fact I might just quickly try it on now, not on camera, just in real life. Yep, tried it on, it fits. The material does feel quite strange, it's a bit different than what I'm used to, but colourful. Next up we have, oh yeah I just got another, this is a, an underwear set. I showed you I got a bra and I also got another one in this set. This one's 546 so again it's a bra that's got no wire on because I'm not about that wired life but it also comes with pants as well so I'm not going to open that. Hopefully it'll be as comfortable as the other one. Oh, side note, I tried my shoes on yeah, uh, today at work, wore them for eight hours. They were good. I'm wearing the bra that came. It's good. So, winner. Next up, I have a fountain pen. So, this was £1.28, which is crazy cheap for a fountain pen. I think it's in a style of like a fancy one, like a proper brand that people know of. I don't really know much about fountain pens but I do have a bunch of ink and I would like to use it so it comes with the fountain pen thing in my blob so you fill this up with ink and then you put it in there or you can have obviously ink cartridges but I actually have some ink that I bought so I can fill this up and see what it's like. But yeah, it's just like plasticky, it's got no weight to it or anything, but it was literally like one pound, what, one pound twenty-eight, so I can't complain about that. Next thing I got, oh, I grabbed these two out as well. Oh, that's a different thing. So here I have some paint brushes. Oh, set of three, where's the other one? Here it is. And again, I got this to use with my inks because I don't want to ruin my proper brushes. I have loads of brushes, but I didn't want to ruin them with ink. So I thought I'd grab some other ones. And they've got a weird hook on the end for some reason. I don't know. There's probably a reason for it. But I don't know what that is. <laughs> hook, line, art, pen thing. Don't know. But yeah, they're different sizes. These were £1.98. Not going to lie, they're not very good looking. Just looking at them. Looking at this one. It looks like there's a bit of a one of the hairs that's not properly attached. Yeah, there, look. So they're not going to be amazing, I thought I'd give them a go, just for ink. So we shall see. And then this one, this is a brush pen. You can't see because it keeps focusing on that, let me move that out of the way. Yeah, so this is a brush pen, but you fill it up with ink inside it, like the fountain pen. So it's got one of these in it to fill up with ink. But instead of having a nib like a fountain pen, it's got a brush on it. And I just thought that was really a cool idea. This was... This was £1.98. And I do have another one in there as well, because I thought I'd try a couple. But yeah, I just like the idea of it having the the brush attached. And then you don't have to keep dipping into the ink and stuff. Uh, this is the other one. So let me just grab this out. This one feels a lot weightier. It feels like it's made of better material. So here's this one definitely more weight to it you've got your brush here got your ink bit there but yeah that is, that has quite a bit of weight to it actually this one was £1.78 so it was actually cheaper than the other one cheaper than the green one and I feel like just feeling the quality of it it feels a lot better obviously it depends on how the brush works and stuff but this one's really weighty nice both of these under £2 each can't complain
So I'm just going to do a really quick test. So I have meadow in this one because it's green, so I thought it would be fun. And as you can see, it's a really nice brush. You get quite thin lines as well. So yes, I put Aurora Borealis in the fountain pen. And this is nice. It's not scratchy at all. It's just really good. So yes, a winner. And then I put Oxblood in this one. And this is like a, a thicker brush. Still get some slightly thinner lines. But yeah, you get a really nice thick brush with this one. So yeah, I'm really happy with all of these. Winner. And then last but not least, this is just a block to use with my stamps that I got. You would have seen them at the beginning of the video. I got a bunch of stamps to use with my journal and stuff and this is a thing that you put the stamp on so it's easy to like press down specifically and this one was £1.28 which is a pretty decent price because I was looking at all the different blocks and trying to find one for cheap because it's just a piece of acrylic in it, it doesn't need to be fancy. It's just so you press down everything properly. Boop. So yeah there we go, that was my month of Timu purchases. I randomly found it in the month. I ordered from it three times. There were good times, there were bad times, but even the bad times ended up as a good time because it was really easy to get more money back, so not going to complain about that at all. And yeah, let me know down below anything you want to let me know down below. Have you used Timu? Have, I, have any of the things that I've got been interesting to you? I don't know, just say some words down below if you want. Check out some of my other videos if you want. And yeah. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye 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 bye.